Hello friend, in today's video I am going to talk about menu editor in VB.net. In any of the software you must have seen that this kind of menu editor is already been there whereby you can see that clicking the main menu you get to see different sub menus and from there you can navigate to any of the other options. And this is a very standard way of doing it but what if if you have to modify this menu item and instead of having a horizontal menu what if you have to come to uh, and create a vertical format of menu and for that context I have created a new application a new menu format which I would like to present you over here so let me sign off from this and let me close this particular application so that I can open the application in which I'm working right now so this is the application in which I'm working let me run the project first then you will be able to understand what I mean so here comes the interface if you see the menu editor which initially you saw was horizontal now it is in vertical format number one and number two is that you cannot see any sub menus over here but what if I go and bring my mouse pointer at the top of the option admin immediately you can see the sub menus popping up the moment I remove it and I move to the next option the previous menu gets collapsed and the next menu get expanded and the same thing applies for the next option as well so that means what you can hover from one option to another automatically as you move your mouse automatically the options under that particular menu gets changes so this kind of effect is very common in any web application but for software development this is little bit real way of presentation and I believe this is a very nice and a stylish way you can do it so let me click one of the option over here under sub menu you get to see a particular form getting open in the same way if you go and click some other option of another tab again a new form gets open that means every option within the main option you can create and open a different dialog box which you can work on so how this kind of effect how this kind of uh, vertical the vertical menu bar you can create uh, unfortunately I won't be able to disclose you the entire code but surely I would like to give you an idea or a hint that how you can develop this kind of menu bar so for that let me show you graphically what the thing you need to do it so first let me draw a column over here so imagine this is a column that I am generating so there is a one particular column as you can see and that column has got multiple rows so imagine this is the, this is the particular row so this is row 0 now inside this row 0 I have implemented a particular component and that specific component is associated with some kind of event handler it is by virtue of that event handler the row beneath row 0 which consists of different items so this is item 1 item 2 these items and so on these items are getting expand so these item are getting expand as well as it is getting collapse so it depends upon how you are putting this item again one more thing you need to keep it in mind number of item in row 1 might not tally suppose if you go to the next component which is in row 2 over here you might have more number of items than the previous one so it depends upon height as well so you need to make the adjustment of height for row 3 so with the help of coding you have to mention to this entire window so the, let me show you the application once again so over here I need to mention this menu bar I have to mention what would be the height of this particular menu item in the same way for this menu item as well because the number of options over here might change with each of this and the respective event handler which I was talking about the moment I bring my mouse pointer over here the option beneath it get expanded and again the moment I shift it it gets collapsed so there is a concept of expand and collapse based on the event handler and along with that each of these respective component each of these respective items so these items will be associated with different forms so you have to link up those forms so that means this item will again open a different new form so in respect to the click event of this menu item individual forms are getting disclosed so overall this particular kind of menu bar definitely gives a dynamic effect and you can even add more number of options over here 
so there is no shortcoming of number of options for any sub menu and uh, this is a this is really a different kind of way of creating uh, a, a layout for the menu bar i hope you like this particular menu bar and those who orders this kind of menu bar will be able to get know about the component or the code that is there inside this particular menu bar uh, in my next video i will talk much more about this i have a plan of adding different icons to these options over here and different shortcuts to these options i will talk about those things this is you can say this is a video one associated to menu bar in my upcoming video i will disclose further more details about it until then have a nice time